Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. It should be a pretty interesting session today as we continue our exploits, as we continue our conquests, whatever we want to call them. Uh, we're going to try and get the city of Dong this, uh, this session. Shouldn't be too difficult because I've got a plan in place basically. Uh, so that'll be good, and uh, apart from that, we've got a lot of upgrades to do, and a couple of things to address from the comments. Again, I read all the comments for every episode, and I try to address as many of them as possible, um, so I will try and address as many as possible. Many of you are very interested in seeing uh, my bandit queen in this army. Now, I want to make it very clear, I'm... I'm very well aware that someone can be in my... Maybe, maybe I said something that was misleading, but I'm aware that someone can be in my court and can also lead my army at the same time. Um, so we're going to do that. Now, the reason why I hadn't done it already and the reason why I haven't even put... Uh, as I've learned how to say his name, or I'm trying to learn, uh, Taishir Tse is closer, hopefully. Um, the reason why these guys haven't weren't instantly swapped in is because I... And many of you will know this, some of you won't. I grow very attached to units and characters. Um, and so I, I had grown extremely attached to this army in its current composition. And so I didn't want to swap people out. It kind of felt bad, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird like that. That's why I said in the comments it's a little irrational. But I roleplay. And if I'm supposed to be roleplaying the fact that Kong Rong has, uh, you know, is oath sworn to Wang Wang Shu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And to, uh, oh, we're not oath sworn to Zheng Yan. So you know what? That works for me. That works for me. Because Wang Xiu, again, he came with us from the beginning. So we're going to keep him around. And we're going to go ahead and swap uh, you out with Zheng Jiang. As soon as she becomes available, as soon as she becomes uh, free to swap out, she's currently on assignment for the next handful of turns, I believe. Uh, but you can see she comes with a pretty decent retinue as well. Lots of spear guard. We've got the mounted saber militia. And we've also got uh, some archer militia, which maybe I'll swap out. I don't know if I need more archers in this army, but, you know, like, I don't mind her composition. So we'll bring her in. She's quite expensive as well to uh, to employ like this. And then it'll be, you know, quote unquote, king and queen, so to speak, uh, fighting side by side along with their third wheel buddy, Wang Xiu. Because, again, we've got that, uh, that oath sworn status. So I think that'll be nice. Okay, cool. You know what? I can excuse... Uh, giving this guy the boot. Sorry, buddy. Uh, unfortunately, Taishir Tse is going to be left out, I think. I like him overall. He's good as an administrator because of his expertise, so I like that. I like, I mean, again, he's cool. He's legendary. Um, that's all great and all. But as far as a cavalry commander goes, I like Wang Xiu. I don't know. If you guys want it enough, I'll swap Taishir Tse in because, again, this is a showcase let's play. So I'm happy to do that, but uh, he's, I mean, he's also maimed, right? That reduces his expertise and melee damage. So just stuff to think about. Stuff to think about. And he considers himself a court noble, so stuff to think about. Anyway, apart from that, hopefully that addresses the concerns of why does party think he can't get uh, uh, Deng Jiang in here? It's because it's not that I think that. Maybe I, I said something wrong that implies that. Or maybe I straight up said it like a fool. Uh, but no, it's, it's because I love these guys because they've been by my side for so long. The uh, other thing is every once in a while I will miss out on certain opportunities. And I apologize for that. It's just because when I'm recording, uh, I try to... I often skip past simple things like not realizing my population is capped out because uh, I'm like busy being like, oh, people are going to get bored if I'm staring at menus for too long. But playing tall, that's kind of the nature of the beast. On that note, it was pointed out to me that yes, Beihai here is maxed out in terms of population. So we actually need to upgrade the town over here. And I've been meaning to do that anyway, because we need some more building slots. I want to get some more upgrades happening. So it's not a bad idea. It's going to cost us 2,000, three turns, not that crazy. Taishan, the city over here can be upgraded as well, perhaps. And I would like to upgrade this building chain too, because this will bump up our prestige. And what I'd really like to do this session, if I didn't already mention it, is I'd like to try and get to the rank of Marquis. I don't think it'll happen, but I'd like to try because uh, then we can start doing some more interesting diplomatic stuff. And at the same time, we're going to get the city of Dong and we're going to trade back the lumber yard and maybe even the fishing port if necessary uh, to get it. The reason why one of these territories from... Uh, this was maybe a little misguided from Liu Bei was because I wanted to take advantage of the extra uh, income momentarily and the extra prestige momentarily as well. But yeah, maybe I was a little too eager and I am hurting one of my friends in, in so doing. Now, the other thing that I need to take care of is uh, trade opportunities. Uh, so Dao Ying over here, 
Um, I don't think we can trade, actually. Let me check here real quick. So, yeah, we can't trade because they don't have a free trade route available. But 522 trade value. I wish it was possible over there. Wang Lang over here, meanwhile. Uh, 499 if I were to try and get a trade monopoly going. And uh, Liu Dai over here. We need to share a border. And so what I'd like to do is get a trade agreement with Wang Lang, or I say trade agreement, but I mean a trade monopoly, and then get um, get the city of Dong as quickly as possible, and then try and get one with Liu Dai as well. Gonna take some time. Actually, you know what? Let's work towards Liu Dai first before his uh, trade route gets stolen from me. Let's, uh, okay, let's try and pull this off first. So, Liu Bei. Yes, friend. Welcome. Um, I'm gonna trade territories. You're gonna give me the city of Dong. And I'm gonna give you what was once yours, the lumber yard. Okay. Uh, not the biggest fan of that. Fair enough. We can go ahead and give you some food. Not all of our food. 17 is all of our food. I want to keep a bit of a surplus. Uh, food is a very useful trade resource. And... I'm giving you 245 per turn anyway. We're going to also add on top of that regular payments of... Okay, go ahead and start at a decent number of 500. Not good enough. Getting there, though. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting number for it to work. Oh, interesting thing that was pointed out to us by the devs, actually. Uh, the... So I've been working towards a zero net down here, which is because, well, that deal works, and why not? But if you actually make a deal that's in favor of the AI, they look more kindly upon it. It actually affects your relations with them. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, not super clearly communicated. Hopefully that they do something to tweak that. But uh, yeah, if I were to go, it's basically like giving them a gift after a certain point. So they appreciate that greatly. Um, like look at the attitude consequences there. Plus 146 becomes plus 20, gets a plus 25. Um, whereas here, we don't get that extra consequence. Right now, our relation is solid. So, you know what? We don't have to go above and beyond. Try with 650. Try with 640. Oops, that's not 640. 630, perhaps? Yeah. Try with that. It's not too much of our money, so that's fine. Uh, and yeah, we get the city. We give him back... Uh... Yeah, so he gives us the city at Dong... And we give him the lumber yard at Lang Yi. And then later on, maybe as he's making conquests, we can trade some more land with him. But uh, yeah, let's propose that deal. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're a team here. It's not kindness. We're friends. We're friends. But there you have it. Hong Rong has the dong. Just like that. Just like that. Trade a little bit of territory. Uh, strengthen Liu Bei up a little bit as well. Because yes, I was maybe robbing him a little bit, which isn't ideal. Um, but... Now I can upgrade the city of Dong. I have to do a little bit of replacing over here. And I can actually take advantage of the fact that I have an iron mine here that has its uh, industry income, which I should be buffing as well. So we'll work away at that. See what the options are over here. Um, you have a fishing port over here. Oh, yes, we are by the sea. Oh, my God, this is going to make us so much more money. We're actually making enough money to counteract our monthly payments just by taking the city. That's huge. Now, that's going to change even further, as now we can talk to Liu Dai about having a trade monopoly. He's more than happy to do that. And you know what? I could just propose a deal like this so he'll like me more. Um, let's do it. I don't, I, don't need more, I don't need more money, honestly. I'm getting so much. So, yes, let us propose this deal. And you can see consequence, attitude consequences plus 15. Um... There we go. And that's the Monopoly. Done. Very nice. Very nice. And, uh, you know what? Maybe we also talk to Wang, Liang, Wang Lang rather than waste time. We've got the trade partner available. They're already trading with one person. They might quickly start trading with somebody else. Some money is better than no money because with Gao Ying, I won't be able to trade unless we have... Uh... Oh, no. They've already got two partners. You know what? Screw it. Wang Lang gets to benefit from my trade monopoly. By which I mean I get to benefit from the trade monopoly. 526. Decent chunk of change. You'll like me more for giving him the better deal as well, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Cool, cool. And you know what? I mean, I can actually see if... 
Ah, confederate. Um. Oh, he's already in a coalition, isn't he? Yeah, he's already in a coalition. That's fine. What about you? He's not for it. Okay. Can't, like, make it work. I mean, he, he opinion on this idea is low. My ally is a major threat to them. God, relax, guys. Relax. I mean, we can, we can make them like us more. I'd like to have more uh, people in our coalition because it's feeling a little bare bones right now. But it is what it is. And look at that. We're making over 3k a turn. I don't know what to do with all this money, folks. Here's what we're going to start with. We're going to go ahead and upgrade you. You get an upgrade. And you don't because we don't have any more money. Okay. We can convert this, though. So let's see. We've got industry income happening at Dong. So let's go ahead and swap you out for what? Um, it's either one of these. Okay, so let's see. Here, it's all about industry income, and we unlock a resource. What is this resource? Industrialists. All right, fair enough. Um, and we make more in income from industry. Learning and market building, construction cost reduction as well. Interesting. 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 But down here... Oh no, we got a cost reduction there as well. Okay, income from industry and corruption reduction. Corruption's not a problem for us. Corruption's not a problem for us. So you know what? I think we will go down this path. The government workshops. Yep. Let's go ahead and swap you out. And you... We really want farm... Like, farmland here? I don't think this should be a food uh, production center. I mean, having more isn't a problem, but I'd probably rather focus on, uh, like, industry. Let's go ahead and demolish this. And we'll demolish this as well. We'll swap them out so we can make a better... Uh, yeah, I'd like to swap them out so we can make something that capitalizes on uh, on industrial income. This iron mine as well, we can upgrade which way. We probably want to go down this path. Get the extra prestige. Get the huge garrison. Government building construction cost reduction. So you know what? I might actually swap one of these out for uh, the administration offices for the extra prestige and whatnot. And the income from all sources bump. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Well, that's going to be next turn because we've used up all of our money. I have one, two, three left in the treasury. All the quarters going up, 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 up. All right, cool. There you have it, folks. Everything is okay in this world. We're happy. We've got trade routes, non-aggression pact, and they want to pay us for it. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's out, out. Why not? Because they're inferior to us. I'll accept this. I'll accept this. And I'm curious if we can eventually... Um... Vassalize him. Now, I want to check something, actually, in terms of gaining prestige uh, as Kong Rong. So, again, just to remind you guys, um... I purposely, during my, like, early access stuff before, before this Let's Play, didn't play as Kong Rong because I wanted it to be, like, a shared experience, basically. Uh, so let's go ahead and see... Academies of Culture. Almost mispronounced Academy. Weird. Weird moment there. Academies of Culture. So you give us what? Population growth, income from all sources. But unfortunately, you don't give us prestige. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. Kind of what I was hoping for. Alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So, what is this reform that we need? Because we've got a new one available soon. Up here. All right. Extra income from industry. I mean, that seems like a logical next step, and then we can move up there. Sure, 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 sure. Sounds good to me. Okay. So, let's go ahead and focus on extra income from industry. Right? So, private workshops will give us income from commerce and industry. Really commerce-focused here, isn't it? Yeah. Labor will give us 
op growth. And eventually it'll give us artisans. I don't mind that. Ooh, there is the income from industry bump. Okay. Take workshops we already have over here. Um, what about here? Commerce. This is going to be all commerce income as well. Market wharf is all commerce too. And then administration offices. We want to get one of those done for sure. I don't think I care for getting temples built. Yeah. So let's go ahead with the labor option because we'll get pop growth. And then eventually we'll go up and knock over to here for the extra income from industry. I think is the way to go. So let's go ahead and get you built. And then over here... All right. Instant construct. Because over here I would like to build... The administration offices. Extra income from all sources plus five prestige. Go ahead and build you. We can rush your construction as well. Hold off on that for a second because I want to see what other options we have. For example, we can upgrade you instead. Up over here, we can get some upgrades going too. Maybe get some more food production happening. Considering our uh, food situation. Again, I can up the taxes a touch. And then public order will drop ever so slightly. But, you know, we've got enough of a buffer, I think. That it's not going to be a serious problem. Just for a couple of turns as we, uh, as we upgrade this. We'll have enough money soon enough to instant construct it right away as well. So, that's not going to be a problem. Now, um... 83 out of 150. That's where we are right now. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn here. Dang, dang, how long does your assignment last? Nine more turns. Okay. Because I do want to get her into my army. Again, if you have any requests, questions, concerns, queries, anything you want to see, anything you want to understand or learn, let me know. They want me to become a vassal. That's an instant no, man. Will give me money for it. How about no? Okay, well, if that's not going to work for you, then I'm going to have to say no. And you know what I'm actually going to do next turn is uh, I'm going to send a spy. I'm going to send a spy over to look at Dong Min's territory. And if, if nothing else, then that spy will give us more vision in the area um, by... Oh, would you look at that? Oh. Dong Min getting that piece. Hopefully, not with a lot of vassals. No, not with a lot. Oh, Liu Dai's starting to like us. That's good. Um, right. So let's go ahead and, and get a spy out there, I think. Uh, up here. Active spies. So, Yu Jujian. Ju Jujian? Sorry, guys. I'm trying. Uh, we can go into Dong Min's holdings. He's like, he's, I don't know if he's likely to get employed, uh, but we can hope for the best. We're going to send him in and he might end up in an army if nothing else. Uh, so yeah, let's try it. Let's go ahead and deploy you there. Spend a little bit of money and at least showcase how uh, the spy networks and stuff work. We do have a reform available. If I recall correctly, we had a turn left on the previous one. We're going to go ahead with this to get uh, extra income from industry. Yeah, extra income from industry. And the next turn, we'll go ahead and get this so we can keep upgrading as necessary. Making so much money. So it's the food that truly concerns me. Go ahead and do that. I think it's 10 turns that we're giving. So like what, nine turns now? Eight turns. Eight more turns of regular food payments. Now I do want to see what Yuan Shao might want. He might be more interested in food than anything else. Because I want to know how I can get him to give me some territory farmland over here. What are we looking at? This? Well, I'm not about to give you territory. If you want a city. Oh, and they'd be willing to pay us for it. No, no, no. Got a lot of money. They've got a decent amount of food as well. I mean, I could try throwing a bunch of crap in here. Right, like I got all these like things that I don't really need. Okay, that helps. Um, because if I get the uh, 
I'd like to get the farmland and, you know, try and get some more food and stuff. Sort, sort all that out. I can go ahead and make regular payments as well, if you'd like. How much money do you need here? Let's start with a reasonable number. Let's start with 500. Oh, he wants more than that. Maximum is 2,600. Okay. You want a lot of money here. 1,300 is on the dot. All right, let's not go with 1,300 for 10 turns. Because that's a lot of money. What if I make a one-time payment? Well, let's max this out. Right? I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Um, make regular payments. Don't want to give him that much money. We can wait. We don't have to do this immediately. But at the same time... Same time. Wouldn't be a bad idea. We get the farmland. We get across the river. Get some more territory. Um, split his holdings a little bit. And uh, maybe eventually we can get... Uh, the small regional city down here as well. I wouldn't mind Ping Yuan, but he's got food and money. It'll be a lot harder to get that city. Um, like we can, let's just get a sense. Yeah, see, we have to make so much more of an effort so he can keep that for now. Cities are hard to get as we learned moments ago. There. And that's not making enough of a difference to make it worthwhile. So 1050 here? No. Nope. And 70? Sure. Sure. He is superior to me. I don't like that. Go ahead and sign this deal. Get ourselves some more territory. We've crossed the river, and now our food is going to be much better off as well, because we've got what over here? Plus six food production. Excellent. Which means we can turn taxes down a touch. Well, not that much. <laughs> oh, it makes so much less money. All right, we'll keep it up to here, then. Well, the quarter here is still dropping negative four. Okay, we can upgrade this soon to help we can drop taxes as well Ooh, this isn't good mainly because of faction support let's go ahead and get you in the city helps a bit slow the bleed i mean i can make it tax exempt for the next little while well everyone pays taxes for now we'll uh we'll deal with that after we can actually do something with our money i don't want to just not collect for the longest time. You want my clay pig and you'll give me money for it. Sure. <laughs> you can have it. I was trying to empty my uh, my luggage anyway, so go for it, buddy. Go for it. But yeah, this is... is Most of my expansions now have been diplomatic. I got a, I got a city and a farmland. I managed to get two things and I, I gave one back as a part of a deal. Um... Yuan Shu vassalized Cao Cao. Oh, no, you beat me to it. You beat me to it, damn it. So much diplomacy going on. I need to work up this ladder as quickly as possible. We're only at 97 out of 150. Well, hopefully, as some of these things get completed, we'll get further along a little bit faster. And make some more money, too. All right, what's this? All the diplomacy stuff? There's so much diplomacy stuff here. Buildings was this large town, Bei Hai has been upgraded. That's good. Not feeling the need for, for food right now. Uh, traits gain and friends. I mean, I should hope you're more than friends. While, while serving together in office, I found this one to be most agreeable. Um, okay. And then traits gain for who? Sure, Yi has become gracious. Interesting. The gracious makes you... At plus two resolve, plus six authority, and plus five satisfaction in the local county. Very well. Very well. He seems happy enough. I'm, I'm happy enough with that development. Now, the question is... 
Financially, we're doing okay. Yeah, my, my real concern is upping how much prestige we have. And how long do we have left on this assignment? Seven more turns. Again, I could just cancel the assignment. That is an option. Um, but I'm not in a rush to go to a war right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade this at Taishan. Get the extra prestige from that, plus 10. And... You're a couple of steps before you start making me money, aren't you? Let's not build that just yet. I need to get my prestige higher. Public order here is dropping real hard. Faction support and taxation. Like, what happens if I... Do that. Not terrible. Not terrible. We're losing 2,000 per turn in just tribute alone. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That'll be fixed soon enough, and our trade monopoly is doing well enough. We're making a fair chunk of change from all this trade. 588 over there. Can't see it down there for some reason. What else can I trade with? Ooh, hello. Uh, how about... Oh wait, do they not have yeah, they don't have a slot. I was like, wait a second, where'd it go? They don't have a slot, that's where that's where it went. Uh what about down over here? My wife will not be happy with me uh talking to this man, I don't think. We can't trade anyway. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I do think that's the turn though. What else can I do here? Low public order, instruction available at Dong. Oh yeah, that's this that I wanted to skip. Fine. Ooh. Liu Bei wants to invite who? Dao Ying. He's likely to say no, though. I mean, I'll accept, but they won't say yes. We need to butter them up a little bit. Non-aggression pack with Zhang Yan. They'll give us money. Um. No, I believe my wife doesn't like you. I refuse. Curious, but acceptable. Nothing curious about this. Don't worry about it, man. You're freaking out over nothing. But yeah, we're focusing right now on getting our uh, our uh, status up. Yan Shu liberated Cao Cao. Wait, what? That lasted like no time, but good. Cao Cao is open for the taking now. Uh, Lu Bu requested... Wow, interesting. Some crazy nonsense going on. So Lu Bu is now in charge of... Uh, what? How did you come to be in charge? Holy crap, there's so much going on. Hong B. Joyous occasion. A son has been born. Damn it, I have two sons. This isn't good. New blood keeps the line strong, but may also give rise to jealousy if other siblings feel their own position is threatened. Spy dispatched. Yu Jujian is attempting to infiltrate Lu Bu. Our spy has been dispatched to another faction. There, they will travel the land, attempting to in ingratiate themselves with the nobility while simultaneously scouting for us and building our undercover network. Whether they will make an impression and successfully infiltrate the faction is uncertain, but we will nonetheless benefit from their clandestine efforts. Clandestine? Clandestine? Words. How do they work? Character developments. We've got a lot of people chilling here right now. No one that particularly catches my eye. Lots of diplomacy stuff going on again. Faction succession. Noble birth. Spy dispatched. And ancillaries gained. Uh, Zhuangzi, Zhuangzi, not sure how to pronounce that, plus six expertise, better satisfaction, reduced retinue upkeep. That I like the sound of. Bump his expertise up, rather than his authority. Ah, I like his authority up here, though. Um, well, we'll keep that in hand for now. Go ahead and upgrade you, 1800. Go ahead and upgrade... You're gonna take a turn anyway. Hong Lai here. Almost done. 662. Wondering if I want to rush anything. 666. I can be patient. Public order is either stagnant or going up, which is good. Down here going up, down here going down. Negative 12. Action support. 
13 turns until it's full. Damn, man. I'm actually spending money to own this place. Make them tax exempt. It's fine for now. It's not a problem, but kind of funny to think about. You know what? We've got a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and recruit some more cavalry into this army. I feel like I should get higher tier cavalry now. Get the Dian Sword Guard cavalry. Wish I could, uh... Swap y'all out. Alright, we'll deal with that later. We'll deal with that when we have the money for it. And again, pretty soon we're not going to be paying people as much tribute. I hate that it calls it tribute. It's not a tribute. I mean, it is, but, you know. There's some implications to that descriptor. I'm wondering which way we expand next. Again, I have to destroy Yen Shao. That's my... That's my mission here. Missions, there we go. So yeah, destroy Yuan Shao. I mean, and he foolishly gave me some land. How much territory? Oh, you are... Wow, overwhelming. Global rank 1. Major threat. That's scary. <laughs> That's scary. Let's just become his vas vassal instead. <laughs> no, of course not. Um, You know what? While we wait for developments to take place... Ooh, spy events. Our, as our spy attempts to infiltrate a faction, they travel the land scouting and building our undercover network. We've received their latest report. Ang Zong is a silk trader. Good for you. And I can actually look at my active spy and see what he's up to. He's not been recruited yet. Otherwise, one of these would be highlighted to depict what he's been recruited as. Uh, he's not the best. I doubt Lu Bu is going to fall for this, but, you know. You try it. You try it. Just trying to showcase and, and, and hope that something happens there. Uh, okay. Working on that. Um, this will... Used to be a small regional city. We need to get to level 7. Damn, dude. That'll take some time. We're upgrading over there. We can upgrade you a step to get another building slot. And get a building for prestige here as well. And we do need to look at these reforms to try and make some more money here as well. And eventually, I'd like to unlock another administrator that we can put here to get more money from uh, from industry too. We'll be making some serious bank. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and invoke the council. I said I was going to do it, uh, so let's see what our chancellor... You got to separate professional life and business, right? So let's see what our chancellor has uh, has for us, if anything. Ooh, overpopulation. Overcrowding can be like a sickness, gradually weakening a settlement until its demise. We should avoid letting settlements stagnate. By upgrading them, we ensure they can house larger workforces when needed. So, again, by doing this mission for Zheng Jiang, she'll become more satisfied, and we'll also get support from peasantry, which gives us pop growth faction-wide and satisfaction for champions as well. Uh, settlement administration needs to be built where... Oh, literally anywhere? Okay. Didn't I just give that construction order? So in five turns, we will have fulfilled this. So that's what I was saying in my review as well. Like, I feel like some of these missions are a little cut and dry and not that... You know. They don't really push you to do anything too crazy. Maybe I should start, start sending some gifts down south over here so we can get some more people in our coalition. God damn it. <laughs> Everybody here in a coalition of types? Coalition that defends the West is us. Coalition to defeat the barbarians. This is a big coalition. That's how. Buddy. My man. Oh, oh, he's interested. He's interested. Cao Cao's up here? Damn. Strange moves. But I like this. Liu Bei is down. I like Cao Cao. I'd like to make him my vassal eventually. But hey, this will make a lot of people happy. And it'll strengthen us a little bit. It'll strengthen us a little bit. What was that vote? So be it indeed. 
Let's go ahead and see if others want to join the coalition that defends. No one really loves me. Ally is a major threat, and Cao Cao is not a fan of that idea either. Fair enough. Fair enough. At least we are a slightly larger coalition now. Feels a little bit better. Uh, diplomatic reports. How dare you? Gongsun Zan, send your armies through my lands. Sima Lang, not Sima Yi. Oh, Taishir Tzu. Again, trying to nail the pronunciation. Tai Shi Tzu, as I believe how that said, is done with his assignment. Okay, buddy's still moving around. Character ranks gained. Oh, Sun Xiao is leveled up, and oh, let's see. Okay, uh, so Sun Xiao having leveled up, he is an administrator in Donglai, if I'm not mistaken. He is indeed. So let's go ahead and see what we can get for you that helps as an administrator. Um, nope, that's useless. Down over here. Public order in the administered commandery. It's not a bad idea. I guess that's the one we're going to go with. Yep, yeah, sure. Let's do it. There you go. That should help with... There you go. Plus five from that. Excellent. And... Uh, also wanted to do what? Get an assignment going. Is that one more turn? I thought it said... Oh, he's returning. Right. We'll still, still take a turn. Fair enough. And what do we have here? Construction available and low public order at Langyi. It's fine, though. It's stagnant. That's that's all that matters, as long as it's not dipping down further. The city of Donglai. I wonder if... Well, your administrator is pretty good, so I don't think I need the public order bump anymore. Let's go ahead with the Dock Market Depot. Get that extra income from commerce. Not the best here. It does give us more trade influence down the line. But, I mean, I guess this will give us commerce income down the line as well. We'll hold off then. Then there's no rush. Let's save that money instead and uh, wait for... Some opportunities with uh, what uh, Beihai in four turns will be able to build the administration. 102. Still a ways to go. Still a ways to go. Non aggression pack with Gongsun Zen, and they will give us money for it. You know what? I accept that. I'm okay with that. I wonder. If I can get some people to work with me against Yan Xiao. Obviously Cao Cao and Liu Bei are in this coalition with me, but I don't think that's enough. And I don't want to have to raise another army. What are you doing down there? How dare you? How dare you? Ooh. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Jade Bird. Over tea, you tell your general of your dream of a Jade Bird. The general takes a long sip of their tea, places the cup down, and looks you in the eye. A vision of a Jade Bird is an auspicious prophecy, the Jade indicating imperial matters, and the Bird a being that can traverse the gap between Earth and Heaven. My relationship with uh, Wang Shu has deepened, and I get extra experience for Kong Rong as well. Cool, I'll take it. Buildings, the magistrate at uh, the city of Dong is done, and we... Hmm. 2700, I need to be level 7. So we're going to have to upgrade you soon. Lots of upgrades to be done. Like, you need to be upgraded to level 7 as well. And here, we're going up to level 3. Alright, cool. I'm almost tempted to do this one first, to rush this one, so we can just build that, uh... Build that building. Gain an ancillary strategies of the warring states. Ooh, gives us guerrilla deployment. For the retinue only. Alright, you know what? That's definitely worth having. Strategies of the Warring States, for sure. I know exactly who I'm going to give that to. You. Yeah, your authority might drop a little bit, which is unfortunate. It'll drop by six. But. 
Guerrilla deployment on cavalry. That'll be great. And you know what? I should be recruiting... In fact, let's go ahead and... Swap... For the Jan Sword Guard Cavalry, because that is our special unit. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Swap and... Swap you. The upkeep is not through the roof or anything. Can't swap anymore. Fair enough. Uh, Ancillary is gained. Traits gained. Tai Shi... Tai Shi Tzu. Sorry, that one's gonna take some time. I apologize. Is creative. Plus 12 expertise. Wow. Minus 5% construction cost only if he's prime minister, heir, or faction leader. That's not gonna happen. Well, look at the reduced construction cost. He'd make such a great administrator. That's crazy. All right. Um, that's that. Spy events. We continue to move around this territory. So again, we have the vision over here. We are seeing new uh, new lands and whatnot. Wow, South Tsao has a lot of land, actually. Don't mind it. And Jade Bird. And what's this? Character ranks. Ooh, Kong Rong has gained a rank. Let's go ahead and take a look at you and see what we can do here. Enables fire arrows. Enables night battles. I like that. I'm thinking fire arrows. I'm thinking night battles. Do it. Composure. Get the extra cunning as well. Oh my god, plus 66% ammunition. I want to fight a war just so I can see the stuff in action. I mean, there's the Han Empire right down here. I could go ahead and take Ying Chuan. There's no harm in that. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's, let's start making our way over. Gonna make our way down, maybe try and take that city, and uh, and maybe we'll actually make our way down to the island over there. Some of you were uh, asking about that, and I need to do something with my armies, otherwise they're just sitting there looking pretty, not doing anything, so that's a bit of a problem. And I apologize, I realize that now, that I could have been making some serious moves, and I haven't been. Um, I could... Go with, I mean, I'd like to get another administrator soon, right? But at the same time, I'm thinking about, uh... Well, I was thinking about this for all the opportunities this would give us, but the plus 10% immediate bump to income from commerce and industry sounds like an ideal move there. And this is plus 15% income from industry. Okay, let's go ahead with a guide to estate management. That seems like a good call. Better than what I was initially planning. Our tribute is still pretty high up. I mean, how long will that last? Three turns, two turns. Who else am I giving money to, actually? The other question. Yeah, let's keep you as you are. And that's our turn. Oh no, don't you don't you do it. It's supposed to be mine. Ooh. Non-aggression pack with Liu Biao, and he'll give me a lot of money. I'll accept that. Peace and prosperity. Yes, harmony for all. Harmony for all. As long as it's under my teachings. I have no issue with that. Now, I can't imagine the small city of Yingchuan has too much of a garrison. Who are you at war with, Liu Bei? Yuan Xiao vassalized Yi Jian Li Ting. Okay, that's not good. I'm falling behind, folks. Falling behind. What's the garrison here? Nothing too crazy. I can rush down. Up to here. South South's land, so he's not going to mind too much. Obviously, Ying Chuan wasn't a fan of that. Or, sorry, Liu, Liu Dai wasn't a fan of that, but... He'll deal. If he wants to go to war with us, he can. Okay. Fly continues to dance around. That's fine. Alright, we're, we're fine, we're fine. And if I do fail in this venture, I can still move down to here. Fight here. Help uh, Cao Cao out. And uh, then make my way to the water, perhaps, and head down to, uh, to the island. <laughs> That'll be okay. Now, how long until Zheng Jiang is done here? Two more turns. Two more turns. And you can supervise construction, reduce corruption, and... Get extra income from commerce. 
Ah, uh, nothing really that draws my eye here. We can upgrade, get you set up for an upgrade, get the extra building slot happening. We need to get to level 7 before we can upgrade these. I'm like, aggressively pushing towards... Well, trying to aggressively push towards, uh... Extra... Prestige as quickly as possible. Because I'm falling behind in this game of vassalization. And I can't let that happen. Now, having more cities and stuff is also helpful, of course, so... We might just go to war with somebody who's not in a coalition, preferably. Uh, okay... We'll accept that. Making a lot of... Well, not friends, but we're making a lot of not enemies here today. Come on down here. Yuan Xiao vassalized Wang Ling. This is not good, guys. This is not good. The war against Yuan Xiao is going to be painful. Oh, it's going to be very painful. I'm quite terrified, not gonna lie. Gained a trader. Ooh. Unlocks assignments, surplus markets. I'm not sure exactly what that does, but here's what I can do with that. Um, where are you? I sure see. Let's go ahead and give you this guy. And then we can go ahead and take a look at uh, Surplus markets, income from commerce, income from industry, reduces reserves for the local commandery. I'm fine with that. Plus 50% income from commerce. And then plus 15 from industry. So, over here would be the best place for it. Cool. Go ahead and get you over here with uh, surplus markets. Last for five turns. Should make us some decent money. Down over here looks like you are under siege. Yep, so I'm under siege. So we can actually go down here and relieve uh South South. Are we not at war? Oh. Go ahead and march down. Keep replenishing. We are staying in friendly territory, so that's not gonna be a problem. Definitely glad I did some upgrading at least. And again, we can push all the way down to here if necessary. All the way down to there. Eliminate them completely. Cool. And then with the money we have left... I'm trying to leave Lang Yi here so I can use it as a bargaining chip later. I'm hoping that Liu Bei, eventually when we go to war with somebody, he'll expand in some direction and then I can make a trade, uh, kind of... trade deal with him. Now... You. Who are you allied with, if anybody? The Coalition to Defeat Barbarians. Big Coalition. Yen Xiao has one, two, three vassals. All right, so it's actually not that many. There's still some to be picked up. There's still some to be picked up. Good. And in terms of buildings, we can go ahead and upgrade some of you, like fast upgrade some of you. Go ahead and do that. Mission success, overpopulation, Jiang Jiang is more satisfied, support from peasantry, great, 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 That's all good. What I really care for is this. Now, let's see if there's anything else. Am I missing anything else that would help us with our prestige faster? Kind of surprises me that our, like, main thing here, the academies of culture, don't help our prestige. Looking at the top line here to get a quick idea of if it even ends up giving prestige. And it looks like a hard no basically across the board except for those government buildings. And occasionally some like... Occasionally some other buildings. Um, ooh, military forges give us income from industry bumps. That's good to know. Military infrastructure helps with public order, of course. We all know what that means. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go with the administration offices. Okay, go for it. There's no need to pay extra for it. We'll wait until next turn and then we can upgrade it right away. Alright, that is this turn though. 
We need to do something to get uh, marquee status. Oh, what is this? Cao Cao and Liu Bei both accept, but who are we trying to invite? Sun Jian. And he is not willing. Only ever so slightly. Alright, well, I'm going to be willing for this, willing to accept this. Sun Jian says no. So perhaps we speak to Sun Jian directly and see if we can't butter him up a little bit. Non aggression pact, they want to pay. No. I don't want. I don't want the wrath of my wife. I don't. I don't. Not gonna experiment with that whole world here, please and thank you very much. Deng Chao, who are you even? Do I see his name anywhere? Deng Chao, Deng Chao, Deng Chao. I don't see your name anywhere. War is declared. Deng Chao has declared open war upon us. Your ministers urge you respond in kind. Your generals have stated their readiness. They are confident and eager to put this vile pretender and their meager armies to flight and ruin. You may call your coalition to assist you in this war. All who vote in favor will declare war upon the aggressor. Hmm. Liu Bei would join me, but uh, Cao Cao would likely not. Do I need an ally in this war? Against this man who I hardly even know? Sure, I'll call for aid. Liu Bei will join. At least that's some help. Call for aid. Faction destroyed Liu Oh my god, Yan Xiao. That's not good. He cut me off there. That's one of my trade routes. Gone. Alright. Liu Bei is joining me. Spy returning. He was unfortunately not very lucky. That's okay. Um... Who am I at war with? Am I at war with you? No, no, not. All the way over here? Are you even? something I don't like about like you're not here take me to where you are this zooms further into my map it's like is he is he where I am anyway I mean this place is still under siege so nothing I can do about that that's how has survived that push I can still move down south over there or I can move towards this area I'm guessing it's just because of a, a vassal, perhaps? Or it's someone I just don't even know exists? I need to look up where this uh, person is before I get blindsided. Go ahead and rush down, though, for now. Stick to our original mission over here. Hopefully Liu Bei will help protect the homes. We've got somewhat decent garrisons. Oh, we don't have really good garrisons, actually. A little concerning. Maybe I should have come up north back home instead to protect ourselves. What's the deal here? Low public order. Public order is currently dropping. Tax is as low as it's going to get. Population, faction support, population... Okay. Faction support. Alright, let's see where our enemies come from. You want my guard and you'll give me that much money? Sure, I'll accept that. Liu Bei is more powerful than us. I mean, it's just because he probably has two armies standing. But hey, whatever he conquers this uh, war, I'll trade uh, Lang Yi with him. Yan Xu is closer to joining us than anybody else was. I'll accept. Alright, Yan Xu. Let's see what we can do there. Yan Xu, hopefully I'm saying that right. But that would be helpful. I mean, he looks like he's got a pretty small holding, but even if we're a collection of small nations that can stand against tyranny, 
I'll be okay with that. I'll be okay with that. All right. Okay. You. Goddamn. Yen Xiao Festival. Uh, as the night draws in, you hear the sounds of celebration in the distance. Distracted from your meditations, you see hundreds upon hundreds of brightly colored paper lanterns hanging from every house and tree. The sight is truly beautiful to behold. Good omen. Plus 10 public order for 5 turns. I could use that right now. Uh, Ancillary's gain. Military instructor. Already got one of those. Spy is still just moving around, I guess. That's the festival. So, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see. Is Gongsun Dang Gongsun? Forgetting his name. Gongsun Zan, sorry, spoke to us. He's not okay with it, but other people are. Why are you not okay with it? His opinion is low. Alliance respectability is low. Hey, <laughs> we share mutual enemies, military strength, and strategic situation. I wonder if I give him a gift. Let's try this. Oh, he's willing to trade with me. Make sure I said Monopoly. Yep. Helps his attitude as well. There we go. It is agreed. Excellent. Negotiate once more. There you have it. Dongsun Zen is willing to join us, and he could be quite helpful in fighting Yuan Xiao. This is good. Propose the vote. Everybody will be a lot happier. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. Fang Rang invited. Yep. That's great. That's great. This is a nice... This is finally becoming a nice, healthy coalition of nations. I'm feeling a lot better about this. And actually, hold on. He doesn't automatically get pulled into our war, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so request military support against Dang Tao. I don't think I have to. He's not really a fan of the idea. I don't think I have to. Let's not. Let's not use up our quote-unquote favors. Not actually a mechanic or anything, but you know what I mean. Um, let's go ahead and keep moving down a little bit. Our supplies have been f fine because we're marching through friendly territory. But I wouldn't mind capturing a city. Look at that. Look at this. Holy crap. It would help our prestige if I get another city. 116 right now. Got a lot of money. Actually, he's done there, so why don't we... Sorry, bud. I believe we're still just uh, friends. So, to that end, we're going to... Ah, uh, yeah, I have to be in my territory. Can't be in friendly territory. Damn it! Just swapped her in first. It's okay. We'll do that. Uh, we'll do that ASAP. We'll, we'll be returning soon. And we'll do that right away. I promise. I promise. Now you, we want to go a couple of steps down for pop growth. Down here is when we start actually looking at income buffs. Fair enough. Where else can we spend that money? Upgrade you real quick. Save up to upgrade you soon. We've got plenty of food. Well, that's not really a concern. Got room for the population. You were fine over here as well. Um, again, here I could look at some of these options down the line, but... Maybe I'm more concerned with this right now. Better income from commerce. And better food production. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. The fish trader. Do the trick. And let's keep an eye on where uh, Liu Bei is going. So we maybe we see our enemy again. I might be uh, a little blind here and I might be missing the trick. It's a, the, the whole thing is like when you're recording. Let me just to give you guys some insight. Uh, you want my military instructor for a lot of money? Um, sure, you can have him. I've already got the one and I only want to try and keep the one army. Uh, but basically when I'm playing on my own, everything's a lot more slow. And you kind of take a lot longer with some things. Whereas when I'm recording, there's this like unspoken pressure of like I can't sit still for too long. 
it's weird. It's something I've been trying to get over ever since I started this channel. Um, well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. There you are. New bait. You have run in the wrong direction. Yensho. What? How dare you? Well, I'm definitely glad I got the city of, uh, of Dong back, but how dare he? Now, Zheng Chao, you were at war with, I hope with Liu Bei as well. You know what, actually, let's see. Holy crap, he wants quite a bit. I mean, it's it's nothing to me is the thing. He wants all my money, he wants a slight tribute, and he wants an ancillary for peace. It, it's, no, it, it, it's nothing to me. Yeah, here, have it. An end to this senseless war. I'm more concerned with uh, with this nonsense over here. Take a city down over here, maybe give it to Cao Cao and trade something else with him. Uh, something more relevant. At least Cao Cao has Ying Chuan here. At least it's our coalitions. But now I'm worried that he's going to get vassalized by Yuan Shao as well or something. Stop making these moves, man. Oh my god, he's overwhelming and his allies are superior. This is scary. I'm supposed to destroy him. How am I supposed to get there at this rate? Oh man, folks, I hope I haven't been too non-aggressive and 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 uh i hope i haven't like put myself in a terrible position over here you there how would you like to be you're already in a coalition aren't you wait are you in our coalition no he's not in our coalition we just don't like each other enough Oh, yeah, they're in the coalition to feed barbarians. Sorry, I didn't see the header there. My bad. Hmm. This is concerning, folks. This is concerning. Things are starting to come to a head. But they will have to come to a head next time. I am terrified. Hopefully this doesn't all go south. Hopefully it doesn't all go wrong. We'll find out soon enough. But this is where we're going to call it a session, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope, uh, you know, you saw some interesting things, if nothing else. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you want to see this series continue, let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It really does help me understand exactly what you're interested in seeing, more or less of, as I always say. Next session is going to be, I think, extremely stressful and extremely tense as uh, I have to make some serious moves Otherwise, I'm going to fall real far behind. A massive thanks, as always, goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.